Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here, and in this video, I've got your gameplay for the Grant 1. This is a currently ranked 2 battle rating 2.7 medium tank in the British Ground Forces Tech Tree. This vehicle, as of right now, costs just shy of 100 GJN on the War Thunder Marketplace, which is about $100 USD. So tell me if this is worth $100, a digital version of the Lee tank, and uh, it probably isn't but anyways a fairly rare tank nonetheless and the thing that makes this different than the m3 lee that it's based on is the turret now of course you can get this same exact vehicle the grant in the american ground tech tree right around somewhere right here but of course the grant is the grant in the American ground tech tree, it's not nearly as rare as this beauty right here. So the big difference here is the different turret up top that features the 37mm M5 cannon. That turret has more armor than what you normally see on the M3 Lee. Plus, it is lower profile, all for a fairly minimal increase in weight. So it's much better armored overall, which is great because this is one of those things that is typically used as a weak spot. Now, some people might ask, hey, this has the 75mm cannon fires the same m61 shot as the sherman why is it any worse well it actually fires it at a lower velocity as you can see here with the m61 goes at 588 meters per second and 97 millimeters of armor pen at max go to the sherman 2 which is essentially just a british sherman and it goes at 618 meters per second with 104 millimeters of armor pen so overall it is just a much not yeah it's not as good basically as a sherman but still pretty decent at 2.7 VR. So I said, let's get into a few matches, see how we can do. But man, oh man, oh man, this thing looks pretty good. Also, this looks like it has some sort of disease, like a rash. Anyways, let's get into it. Now, the great thing about the Lee, or in this instance, the Grant, is that you can take pretty much right where you're looking at when it comes to Sherman firepower. It is a bit worse, and also longer range shots are light bit tougher to make with this just because of the muzzle velocity but you're taking all that right plus adding another turret with a pretty decent cannon a 37 millimeter cannon at this br that goes through like what 87 millimeters of armor that's not bad and you're taking all that putting it into a thing that's what 2.7 br and has pretty okay armor not fantastic depends on how you angle it and where you get shot of course and it has pretty decent mobility, you know? So it's, it's not bad. Plus, the Grant in and of itself is probably the best iteration of the Lee, being that this has one less turret up top. Um, you know, the Lee has a turret on top of the turret here that has an LMG, which is totally, totally useless. Whereas this kind of foregoes that. So it's nice. I mean, of course, you can get kills with an LMG, especially at this level. But it's not going to happen all too often. But that said, I'm going to go ahead and flank here. And as you can see, I mean, the mobility on this is not too bad. Plus, I have a stabilizer. Okay, we have an enemy over there. I'm going to try to shoot out his engine if I can help it. Got the gunner. That'll work. And got the kill. None too shabba dabba dabba. Can't complain about that. Hoping no one rolls in from the right. That guy was trying a light flank on our team, so thankfully I was able to stop him. Also, wasn't that Stug flying a little bit fast? Or moving a little bit fast? Okay, we have ourselves a big boy over here. Got the engine and the kill. Not too bad. It's a nice one-two combo dombo. But obviously, somebody knows I'm here. Probably that Stug. Um, this guy might know I'm here as well. Hope not. Gonna get him trapped and kill him with the LMG because that's what you can do now. That's the thing It's like if you have an LMG Right like you're gonna kill the same amount of enemies with one LMG probably as you will with two So it's like almost what's the point? Ooh, Got him with the big boy 75 millimeter cannon and Come on. Oh uh, uh, uh. Now this is where I'm gonna struggle here can I get... Ah, I got killed, of course. The gun depression on this is not very good. But that said, real quick, first match. Let's get into another one. See how we do, but not too bad for just flanking, spanking, and tanking. As you guys saw in full display in that last match, the Grant, and by extension, the Lee, 
have absolutely awful traverse speeds in both respects. So when it comes to turret traverse, it's not good, but even worse when it comes to neutral steering, just not good at all. And that is essentially what doomed me there, at least from getting a second kill. Additionally, or a uh, final kill rather, additionally, it also has pretty bad uh, gun depression with its top mounted gun, which is probably more useful ki for killing lightly armored enemies. Ooh, that's not good. Wow, I got that kill. <laughs> Whoa, what are the odds of that? None too shabby dabby. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to the stabilizer, only the 75 millimeter is going to be stabilized, which is the lesser of the two in a way. Obviously, it's a more powerful cannon, but it does not have the fire rate of the other one, nor does it have... Okay, we have an enemy over there. Ooh, I got the second hit, I think. But nor does this have any sort of... Uh, you know, longer range capabilities. And you also have to worry about shooting like that. What an ugly shot that second one was, but that's just how this thing is, unfortunately. Ooh, got the driver, and I can go pick off his buddies, I think, from top with the LMG. Well, if it came to that, at least. Okay, we have another enemy back there, it looks like. Got the engine, and can I get the... kind of. Got the kill! Look at that! None too shabby, it was within 105 as well. And is that an enemy? That's just a hole in the wall. They need another brick in the wall to fill that. Oh, and I am going to die. Okay, this guy for some reason is coming up to the side. Don't know why. Does he think that this is... Okay. What is this fella doing? Not anything that I would do. Wow! Sorry about that, Rethgar. But such is how War Thunder plays. This guy had me dead to rights. But he decided not to kill me. Not to sign the contract of my death. So not too bad. Got four kills. Two assists. And that's one of the things I really love about this vehicle. Is that if you miss with one via or one gun. You can simply fire with another. And actually be pretty successful with it. Okay we have an enemy here. Took him out with the LMG. Ooh we have someone else over here. Oh, that is a space spawn. Do not like that. But... Please forgive me for what I'm about to do, guys. I know it's a base spawn, but where else am I going to go? I'm getting killed. I know I deserve to die. Oh, and that's what I get. Okay, time to die. Not too bad. Six kills to assist. Feeling pretty damn shabby dabby. None too bad. Let's get into another match. Final match, see how we can do. But otherwise, is this worth $100? No, just get the GE base one in the American ground tech tree. Unless I can successfully get his driver, which I can. And if I can move up on him, possibly not get the kill. Got the driver. And got the kill. Lucky me. Cannot complain. Looks like we may still have someone else over here, however. Not liking that my engine is shot to death. I really... One of the things I hate about this game, um, one of the few things in general that I actually hate about War Thunder, is... Uh, that sucks. Is the fact that the... Nice. Got a double kill two times as quick as I otherwise would, but it really, really sucks how I cannot repair the uh, the engine on this, even though it's really not in good condition. <laughs> you know, like that really, 
That's one of the things, especially like once I cap this base, I should be able to have that ability. But unfortunately, it's pretty much like either the engine has to be totally wiped out or destroyed or you have to hope that you don't get damaged at all. And with other parts, it doesn't really matter as much. Like, for example, tracks, um, you know, let's say like an LMG, if that gets damaged, it won't really matter all too much. But for the most part, ooh, that sucks. Um, for the most part, like, once you get engine damage, that limits your uh, ability quite a bit. Okay, we have ourselves an enemy. Got the kill Panzer three busy B. Can't complain about getting a kill against him. Almost kind of sounds like the C point is going to be attacked very soon. Ooh, C point is being captured. Yes, definitely. I kind of screwed that one up big time. However, can't complain. Got the kill. I'm going to have to turn. As long as there's no one here to my right, I should be okay. And there is not. So, hopefully this guy doesn't know I'm here. Don't expect him to. And as long as I don't get flanked, I won't get killed. Okay, got the loader, commander. And got the kizzity kills. That is none too shabby dabby. Come on. Ah, I'm just trying to turn down for what? Oh, this sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Got the kill. I was trying to fire my 75 millimeter cannon at him, which would have been effective. Um, and then some. But yet my turret or my engine is still destroyed for the most part. This really really sucks. So I'm going to have to recap this, but not too bad. Seven kills, a base cap, and I cannot even climb one of the most basic elevations. So as we get closer and closer to the end of this match, what do I think about this vehicle? Well, it's pretty good. You know, I mean, of course, it's pretty much just the Lee. It's the M3 Lee, but I really like how this is in-game. It's the same BR as the Lee. And it does have some noticeable differences. This isn't just like, you know, not that there's a problem with it, but this isn't like the Crusader, the Saint, for example, or the special Achilles, or any of those sort of vehicles. This is a different vehicle with a different turret, and it's functionally somewhat different, I mean, slightly, just based on the armor, than the comparable... Ooh, we might have an enemy? That's not an enemy. But, you know, it's functionally different because the armor on the turret and also the shaping of the turret. So it, in general, is a better vehicle. And I like that you can also purchase it off the, like, not even considering the marketplace um, via GE for the American. So just overall, it's a cool vehicle. Personally, I would rather use this than the M3 Lee almost any day of the week. Just because this is a better vehicle uh, in general. But, you know, overall... Yeah, yeah, it's a really cool vehicle, and uh, definitely recommend it. Well, <laughs> recommend it if you're going to be getting it through the uh, the GE. Again, it's like 85 or $100, or something like that, on the marketplace. No, thank you. And you know, I know exactly what you fellas are going to say, and I understand, and I agree, in large part. Why is this guy in the enemy base? Well, look around, you fellas. There is absolutely, like, at that map, there is nothing that I can do more. Uh, we have totally dominated these guys, and thus far, we've got nine kills. <laughs> nine kills! With a grant and two base caps, so... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, this thing is just overall extremely effective. And, I mean, at 2.7 BR in a down tier, this is as good as any vehicle can be. Because not only does it have the still effective 37mm cannon, but it also has the very effective 75mm cannon. Again, despite the fact that the 75 really isn't great in, in uh, you know, in any regards. Because the... 
M3 for the Sherman is even better. Can I actually hit this fella? I'm saying the word fella a lot here. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. So that said, thanks so much for watching. I'm assuming that this match is going to be over. So assuming it's over, thanks so much again. Uh, you know, of course, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. And I died. So that said, thank you all. And I'll see you all on the other side. Two base caps, nine kills, not too shabby. Take care, everyone.